It seems as though when schools want to make cuts, there are two very important things that public schools and charter schools seem to think that they can cut that are easy because they're non-essential, but they're actually the most essential. The first thing they cut is art. The second thing they cut pretty easily is teachers. <laughs> like, we could just give the teachers more students and cut more teachers. What I find interesting about that is we don't play those same type of games with the police force, with the fire department, with those essential services to the city. We don't, you know, we trying to figure out how we can, at this point in Chicago, raise property taxes to hire more police and firefighters. But we could fire 5,000 more teachers. The thing that, the, 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 the very people that are gonna cut violence in the city because your children usually spend more time during the day with the teachers than they spend with you at night. We can't afford to cut more teachers, you know? But, but when we talk about art, they cut these programs not realizing, and then, they, and, then, and then these systems wonder, why can't we get parents to come on report card pickup day? Why can't we get parents to come, you know, be involved with their children's education? But guess what? If you were to throw a play, or if you were to throw a musical, all the parents show up and they bring the, the, the extended family. Your route is right there through art to get family and community involved, especially in communities of color where we communicate through art. You know, we communicate through this language of music. You can have a report card pickup day on the day that you do the play and say, okay, after the play, everybody be sure to go to the teacher's room and get your child's report card. And you will have massive participation. Donda's house is filling in those gaps. Donda's house is a premium arts program named after the late great Dr. Donda West, Kanye's mom, my mentor. And she gave us a safe space to do art. She didn't know much about rap, but she counseled us in the, the, the correct ways as human beings and as young men to conduct ourselves. We had the talent. She helped shape our humanity. It is important that I pay that forward in her honor. And so in Donda's house, I am the creative director. I help uh, teach creative writing classes. We have studio etiquette. We do improv. We do a collaboration with Second City where we do improv. We're working on our fashion wing where Kenneth Cole has recently come in and uh, helped us with our fashion uh, uh, sector of, of our program. And not only are the young people looking and saying, man, we got family, this is so dope. We need this everywhere around the city. But guess what? We're doing the one thing that schools find a hard time doing. Their parents are involved. Their parents want to come out and see their children perform. What we're working toward is making this the Girls and Boys Club of Art and making it the type of place where you can come and have a potential career because of your experience at Donda's house. Not that you're going to come here and leave with a record deal. I'm anti-fame, anti trying to like get a record deal, but I am pro if you can't think of anything but music from, from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed, if you want to learn more about the theories of why it is you feel this way and how you can develop your power to change the world, this is the place for you, Donda's house. Someone get rich in this country and then they go and they build a, a school in Africa. You know what I'm saying? We, <laughs> it was like, if we just do more of that kind of stuff in our own. I ended up doing my performance and doing the light, I stopped the song, and dude got down on one knee, proposed to his girl. The cop came to the, 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 the window and was like, yo, I smell the weed, so whoever got it, just cough it up. I won't do nothing. I won't lock you up, I won't do nothing. Everybody's like, yeah, whatever. Brooklyn, New York was a little bit, like when I was super young, like six, seven, eight, nine, it wasn't so bad, but by the time I turned 13, the things in the neighborhood took a turn. So the music was a way for me to, to really just, you know, not hanging out with the wrong crowd and 